You remember this, kids playing outside until the street lights came on. Yeah, not as popular as it used to be, but there's one program that's fighting all of that tooth and nail. Muddy Creek, Muddy Sneaks rather, gets kids outside and pumped up about science. Counselor Cody Bliss says it all started through educators many years ago. They saw a need for students to have access to their natural surrounding um, areas and these public lands. And so they recognize that a lot of students, even if they were living adjacent to these spaces, may have not had access um, or may have never experienced these natural landscapes. And so um, they found it Muddy Sneakers under the idea of connecting youth and children to their surrounding public lands. Cody says getting kids away from screens, of course, very important, but he also says it's important to take in all the nature, but do it all through the lens of science. The students are really out there um, using different child-led or student-led um, science inquiry uh, activities. And so a lot of times they're out there learning about topics such as forces in motion. Um, but instead of sitting in a classroom and learning about this in one very direct way, they're out there doing hands-on activities and a lot of experiential learning um, using different activities such as um, hanging a bear bag and they get to learn about friction, they get to learn about um, force and, and different pr scientific principles. So it's good on so many different fronts, get, yeah. getting kids outside, mm -hmm. getting them kind of dirty so they can mm -hmm. get into it and figure it out. But they were they were um, science educators and they just said mm. we need to start something like this. Uh, apparently fifth grade, which I did not realize this, but fifth grade is kind of like where they've done studies that kids will either say I like science or I don't oh. by fifth grade. So mm. they, their goal is to have every fifth grade class in North Carolina have a chance at least at one of these outings to see where they fall. Especially when we talk about STEM all the time, oh, yeah. STEM programs. Programs. This is a great way to get kids involved and interested in that. And when I was in school, when I had the most fun is when it was interactive learning. You know, it's one thing to read a book, but when you can go out there, yeah. get your hands dirty and put your hands on it, that's when you take in most of the things that you're learning. And it's so cool. I mean, that nature is so neat if you just take mm -hmm. a chance to look at some of the different things. I mean, and for people who live in, in a big city who don't get to get out in natural yeah. nature, you know, mm -hmm. it looked like they were really out there. Yeah, they're out there. And in fact, the all those images are from today. They did, oh, they wow. did, did one today. Um, and 70, I believe the quote was 75% of the cost for this program is funded by donations of their nonprofit. Um, so they usually offer this either at no cost for kids or reduced cost if they mm. can. So it's a good organization. I think it's such a great program because we're always talking about how the kids are stuck on the game or is inside, but yep. what a fun way to learn and create some future scientists. And it's easy to remember muddysneakers.org. That's, that's easy. a cool name. Cool yeah. name too. Yeah.